Lymphodepletion is an essential part of the CAR T-cell cycle. It uh, does prepare the body and the immune system and the microenvironment and the tumor uh, for the infusion of the CAR T-cells and uh, prepare uh, these systems uh, to make the uh, CAR T-cells expand better. Um, it has initially uh, been designed uh, analogous uh, to allogeneic uh, transplants. So the substances are pretty much the same. It's chemotherapy, particularly uh, fludarabine, cyclophosphamide and sim similar substances. And uh, we have studied the problem within a work package, work package six, within a EU consortium, which is called Tito Evolve. And what we realized is that in reality, there are very little data on what the best regimens are and the treatment regimens are different. We identified 26 different regimens uh, with no real scientific background on why we use what. Uh, so, so that's the basic situation. In the meantime, we've learned a few things. So there, there were um, some improvements in order to personalize things because what we realized is that um, lymphodepletion is, um, has two major effects uh, on the tumor and the patient, which is uh, the efficacy uh, is increased when the lymphodepletion doses are increased, uh, but that at the same time will also increase the toxicity. So the efforts are directed uh, are towards uh, improving the efficacy um, by, um, for instance, um, personalizing the dose and B, to reduce the toxicity. And there, there are some, some attempts uh, by our colleagues from the Sloan Kettering, uh, for instance, who have um, devised um, an index where we can calculate based on an uh, population kinet uh, pharmacokinetic uh, uh, index uh, on how much fludarabine we should give and there, is an, there has been an optimal dose defined. Uh, this uh, sounds very good, however there are some problems because the, the levels that we measure in these patients on, uh, regarding fludarabine, the blood levels, are not always consistent with, with what uh, we predict. That's been shown by our Spanish colleagues, Pere Barba and uh, so on. So we've made some minor progress in terms of the dosage, uh, but we've defined the problems now and I think we can move forward. And then the other thing is that we have introduced some new substances, uh, particularly for the lymphomas. And what I forgot to say is that lymphodepletion is different with, for instance, the source of cells allogeneic versus autologous cells. It will be different when we move into the solid tumor field because there we use substances which uh, have more activity against solid tumors, etc.